Are we ready? I love holding this. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> she impressed judges and audiences alike on the Britain's Got Talent auditions with a very unique take on some pop songs with her electric violin. Joining me now is Letters by Name, oh. Letters by Nature. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how are you? Very excitable ball of energy we have right here. <laughs> um, now, you have already performed for Prince Charles. You've already oh. performed for royalty. This um, is incredible. <laughs> how did that come about? I was in a string orchestra at Purcell and we were asked to play at Buckingham Palace um, for the OBE Awards. And unfortunately, the Queen wasn't there to hand out the awards. It was Prince Charles, which is lovely. And, and it was very funny because if we played too loudly, which I kept on doing because I wanted everyone to hear me, <laughs> um, they'd press this red button on the balcony so we'd have to like, get quiet again because we were playing sort of like So you were already hush, hush a with performing for royalty and the button. But the buttons. Oh, I'm used to the buttons, yes. <laughs> and you've also done other high profile gigs already, sort of Olly Murs, people like that. And um, do you think mm. you've got some sort of advantage over the other contestants? I don't think it's an advantage or a disadvantage. I think it's just what has happened in the past. And it sounds glamorous, but it's only the sort of tip of the or the iceberg of, of the lettuce iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> but there has been so many hours of practice that have gone behind um, getting to those tiny little gems of um, great opportunities. Now, these shows are all about sort of discovering new talent. There has yeah. been some sort of talk that you're not a new talent because you've already done that. What do you sort of say to that comment? I don't, don't think it matters if you've been discovered or um, not discovered because it doesn't change your passion and the way you play and your talent and that's the main thing now what is even more impressive mm. is that you said you were hung over for your audition i know this is so bad isn't it well um, no i'm impressed <laughs> do you think you. maybe this could turn into a bit of a tradition no 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 i don't know i really want to um be uh, show my grateful appreciation to my fans by um actually turning up and being prepared and have practiced a lot and just show people that you know i actually do you care about this incredible this is opportunity? getting serious now. I'm getting very serious. <laughs> How do you think your upbringing will sort of reflect in the competition? Because Britain's Got Talent <clears throat> is sort of notorious for voting for the underdog, maybe people with a little bit more of a sob story. I think anyone could find a way to have a sob story. I think it's just the way you think. You've got to be positive. I've I've had hard times in my life like anyone else. And, and yes, you may not see that, but it's just about being positive. I do come across as posh but I don't think my family really are. We're all quite hardworking artists and we're all quite hippie and loving and bohemian. And we have lots of kids running in and out of the, all the windows and doors and animals popping up everywhere at home, paint flying everywhere. It's like, it's all very exciting at home. And then I think the accent comes from the schools that I had scholarships to, which my parents didn't pay for. I just got scholarships to. It's, it's funny that people say I'm posh, but I hope that it's just the first thing they see and then they forget about it and they see the real me underneath. There was also talk that you got offered to go into Maiden Chelsea. Like, I know, it was really lovely. It was so kind. Um, the team, they're amazing and all the cast are really cool. But I just wanted to focus on my music and um, yeah, that was all about partying. Would you, would you ever so. go back again? Um, I, I, you know, it'd be quite funny to do an appearance. I love Mark Francis. I think I've got a bit of a girl crush, crush from him. Nice. But I don't think you, I don't know. I don't oh, know. Maybe, Mark maybe, maybe Mark Francis. <laughs> yes, he's waiting for you. <laughs> no, I just think he's immaculate. Um, how he is on camera is how he is in real life, which is, it's really cool. It's, yeah, he's, he's just very funny. He comes up with some so odd you'd things. So sort of, you'd only think about going back into the show if maybe it was more focused around your music. violin, music, playing, yeah. instead of you out partying. Yeah, I suppose so. I'm quite a positive person. I like to just say positive things. And... Um, and I, I, yeah, I, I think that, I, I don't know if it. that would make good, you know, drama. Would we ever see you add anything else to your act? I um, love painting. I do animation. Um, so I have, I really would love to put my animation on the stage um, to animate to my music. I love singing. I love opera. So I write lots of music. So yeah, there's a lot of different things that I'd love to do. But um, to be honest, I'd love 
people to really understand who I am and I think at the moment to keep it simple yes. and just stick with the violin at the moment. Amazing. So, and then hopefully one day people see other things that I get up to. Absolutely. Well, yeah. we look forward to seeing it as Britain's Got Talent continues. And thank I hope you. all your skills get shown. It's been a pleasure meeting <laughs> I you. I know. Um, and thank, thank you, you so much for bringing you and your letters along. I know. A little letters. <laughs> oh.